Hi, Douglas with VMworld Television. Uh, one of the big topics here this year, Power CLI, seems to be of a lot of interest, so I've managed to track down Pablo, uh, one of our product marketing guys that, that uh, really owns the, the Power CLI content at the company. So hey, thanks for having me on here. Uh, very grateful, very happy. We're seeing an incredible amount of enthusiasm around Power CLI. We have a lot of administrators using it to, to simplify their workloads. They can automate anything. You know, the key messages are, if you can do it with a client, you can do it with Power CLI. And what really helps is large scale environments. I mean, just imagine clicking through thousands and thousands of, of windows uh, where a simple Power, Scroll, Power CLI script can, can do the work for you. So there's a, a lot of traction. I invite everybody to go to the labs. Uh, the sessions are getting booked, so make sure you show up early and encourage everybody to attend. And um, today, uh, how many people are, are using PowerCLI? Do we have any insight into that? Yeah, so we're, we're approaching the 50,000 number. And uh, you know the downloads just continue to escalate and, 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 and grow, so we're very happy. The community is, is growing like ever, and uh, you know we have the cool posters that everybody needs to have and the stickers. You know, for your, your typical uh, ESX manager, vCenter manager, uh, you know, they're managing the data center, the infrastructure, how, they do a little bit of scripting, a little bit of command line, how easy is PowerCLI to pick up on and, and before you can really start seeing results? Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what it was designed for, is just for people to just get in there and start reading it. The thing about it is that it uses very simple, uh, almost English-like syntax, noun verb. So you start off by getting the VM, get VM is a command, and you tell it something to do, get VM, power on. So it's almost like written English, and that's what makes it easy to debug and write. All right, sounds like talking to me. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I can do that. It. That's it, that's it. And uh, any um, common problems that we've seen our customers run into when they start adopting this? Any, any suggestions you have? Um, you know, it's, it's very easy to go through the, the manual. Uh, the help files are there. So we definitely recommend you spend a little bit of time just to navigate through. We also have the Power CLI official training from VMware where you can use your PSO credits and apply it towards the clouds. And we also have support for it. So if you need scripting support, you can uh, get a special contract and VMware will take care of you. All right, great. Well, I'd, I'd love to talk to somebody on the development team. Uh, you know, not necessarily the Power CLI development team, oh. but one of our developers using this stuff. Yeah, uh, anybody yeah. you suggest? Yeah, I definitely have a chat with Ravi. He's a guy that you want to talk to. He looks at it from a performance perspective, and and you know the funny thing is he'd never touched scripting before, and so he's just a perfect opportunity to get an insight. All right, great. I'll go track him down now. Hi, Ravi. So uh, you're a developer on our performance team, right? Yeah, yeah that's correct. So uh, I'm curious, we're talking a lot about Power CLI, and it seems really popular. Um, how how are you, or how are we using that at VMware internally? Well, there's two ways that we're using it. So in our group, we do a lot of performance automation. So in other words, we have to run a test, totally tear down an environment, totally rebuild it, and then to run the same test. And the Power CLI makes doing that really simple. I mean, the ramp up time for it is quite fast, and once it's done, every night we can just automate our tests. It makes things easy speasy. Now, I'm in the performance group, and one thing you didn't ask, but which I'm going to tell you because it's really cool, is that the Power CLI lets you get performance stats. Okay, now historically, we've had a lot of different APIs to do this, you know, Perl, Java, whatever. The trick is those APIs tend to be fairly complicated to use, and once you're initiated into the wizardry, you're okay, but you know, the ramp up time is pretty high. But with Power CLI, the path to getting a statistic and doing some very rudimentary monitoring is very simple. Within an hour, I was ready to write scripts. So. If I had to say one benefit that I've seen tangibly is getting performance statistics is so much easier. All right, so um, again, you know, you're a VMware developer, so how does that relate to our customers? I mean, how easy is it from th for them from day one to start using Power CLI and get the same results you're seeing? Okay, so here's the deal, right? Suppose you're hungry. I can either say, there's a cow, go and make dinner, or here's a McDonald's hamburger. I'm a vegetarian, so it's either there's a field and grow an artichoke, or here's an artichoke. Okay. With the Power CLI, I started from knowing nothing about Power CLI to being able to write a script using our forums and using that literally in an hour. So I would say that for the average customer that has some rudimentary knowledge of scripting and knows how to surf the web, they'll be ready in an hour. All right, and um, another thing we talked about, uh, I guess in San Francisco, is uh, this is the last release of ESX without uh, of, of not just ESXi, basically. Mm -hmm. um, this isn't related to performance, but do you see Power CLI as a, a path for this upgrade and migration from ESX to ESXi? 
Well, I guess a lot of what people need to do when they move from ESX to ESSI, ESXi is script actions, right? So they want to move their VMs from point A to point B, and so you could theoretically imagine an upgrade scenario or move VMs off of ESX to ESXi, make sure that it's working, and the nice thing about PowerCLI is that it's, it's a really intuitive way to get the status of a VM, to move a VM, to make sure that it's been moved properly, and then do that for, for large groups of VMs at the same time. And the nice thing was you have tools like Onyx, where if you want to do some strange thing that you know how to do in the UI, but you don't know how to do in PowerCLI, you can use Onyx, observe the traffic, and then easily muck that into a script that you can use to do the very same action. So, Robbie, it seems like it's very popular right now, PowerCLI. We're amazed at how many people are showing up uh, for the sessions here. Um, is there much of a developer community built around this right now? Absolutely, so this is cool. One day I was sitting on, I wanted to you do something with PowerCLI. So I went on our developer website and the very script that I needed to write was there and people are very good about putting source code up, about saying, oh, avoid these common pitfalls. And I copied that code, I put it in and it worked the first time around. So totally, totally well supported, very excited community and they're very generous about sharing code snippets. Absolutely. Well, thanks a lot for your time and uh, keep up the uh, good work on PowerCLI. Thanks, appreciate it. So, uh, I hear you're using PowerCLI? Yes, I do every day, more and more every day actually. And uh, what, what are you using it for? The minute you have more than one virtual machine or more than five virtual machines, you have an option of doing everything manually or you have to start finding a way to optimize or automate everything as well. The easiest way to do that for an administrator like me is to use PowerCLI. It makes life a lot easier, the commandments are very, very simple. PowerShell, which is something I'm used to you using as a Microsoft administrator as well, so it makes a lot of life a lot easier. It's still programming though, right? I mean, how, how easy is this to use? It's not really programming. If you want to get into more of a advanced set of operations that you need to get to get more out of the actual virtual center and your, over, and your VMware environment, you have to get more into how to program and how to understand everything deeply. But to do your day-to-day -day day -day, um, operations, it makes life a lot easier. Just get VM, start VM, or get VM, stop VM, and that's it. You don't have to do any kind of program whatsoever. Hi Douglas, yes, uh, uh, I am. I am uh, using PowerCLI uh, since the early days. I was uh, annoying Pablo uh, since the early beta, so uh, I actually did a presentation at the Dutch Femur uh, in 2008, and then already a few commandlets became available, and in the course of time more and more commandlets uh, became available, and it's a really powerful scripting language now. And uh, what, what are you using it for? I'm using it for automation, uh, for doing tasks that otherwise uh, had, you had to do by hand repeatedly. Uh, but uh, there are uh, great tools these days like uh, the, the, the VC, the Virtualization Echo Shell, which can be used to create a layer around all your products like SQL Server, Exchange, uh, uh, the Virtual Center Server, vSphere, and then you have one dashboard and you can control different, uh, different types of components within your environment. Yeah. It's a really great automation tool, but also to create visibility, to, to, to present all the information in one, in one layer. And uh, I mean, how easy is it to use? It's scripting, right? It's, it's more like talking. When you do a get or a put or uh, everything you want, you can pipe the information next to the next object. So it's real easy. When you, once you get the hang of it, once you, you know how it works, it's easy to transfer the outcome of one uh, get uh, uh, component into another. And it's more like talking to your computer than like really programming.